And welcome back to the morning mix. The toys are back in town. The second annual toy show now known as Toy Haven is coming to Grand Haven again very soon. Here with the details, Matthew Rodriguez, Pete McCarthy. Good morning to both of you. Hi, gentlemen. Good morning. Hey, Pete. Good morning. You got to be happy, Pete. Let's start with you. Toy Haven, it's back. Back to live events, people gathering together. You have to be excited. You know, we, we really are. Uh, the You know, the last, obviously the last 18 months have been rough for for everyone top to bottom, but uh, the the convention industry, and you know, again, when, when everything surrounds a, around gathering and getting people together, uh, the global pandemic obviously stopped all of that for us. So we're so excited that people are feeling comfortable and, and wanting to get back out of the house and wanting to gather again and uh, spend time with friends and family and uh, using uh, vintage and, and new toys as a reason to do that is uh, as good as any. So we're uh, we're incredibly excited to start hosting events again and and getting to see uh, all the all the people that we've we've met over the years throughout collecting and and attending conventions and doing those things. So we are absolutely happy to be back October 9th. Excellent, can't wait, Matt. Let's bring you in here for those who don't know what Toy Haven is. Uh, let people know what is it. Well, uh, Toy Haven is a toy exclusive convention, so it's just a one day show, um, but there are plenty of shows here in Mich Michigan and West Michigan that have artists, um, vendors, cosplay and all that fun stuff. And, and there's plenty of room and love for those things. Um, but Pete and I got together and we really wanted to focus on toys. So toys specifically, it could be from any generation. Um, you know, from the 70s, 80s, 90s, now, new, old, vintage, girls, boys, anything you want, just it has to be toys. So each booth at our show has to be at least 90% toys. I love it. This is all, I'm bringing back memories of my Stretch Armstrong. Hey, Pete, how was the first event? I mean, I mean, it's been a few years since we've talked and it's been a few years since we've been able to do the second annual. How'd the first one go, Pete? The first one was great. We uh, we really, first and foremost, we had a great time. And, and honestly, we've never had a bad time at any show we've ever <laughs> gone to. Um, and uh, we, we were full of vendors. Uh, we actually had quite a few people through the door. Uh, the vendors uh, were able to put a little money in their pocket. Uh, people walked out with, uh, everybody walked out with a bag full of goodies. And um, again, it was just a lot of uh, like-minded people spending the day together and, and again, trading and collecting and selling and it was a lot of fun. We, uh, we, we knew that there'd be a good group of people there because a lot of the vendors we already knew. Um, and we, you know, a lot of our friends uh, in the business, we knew were going to come out to support us. Uh, we actually had no idea we'd get as many people through the door as we did. And uh, we had, we had a great time. It was, uh, it was very apparent very early in the morning <laughs> that that was not going to be the only toy game. So. <laughs> Excellent. I'm so glad you guys are back really quickly before we leave. Uh, Pete, uh, why are toys important to you? And I'm going to put you on the spot. Tell me what your favorite one is. You know, uh, the favorite one is easy. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, is is kind of where I where my my main passion is. Um, it, it's amazing to me that uh, you know in my life I've always been a big music fan, and you can hear a song, and, and that song brings you back to a certain day and a certain time and a certain feeling in your life. And toys are the only other things that I've found that kind of give you that same feeling of nostalgia. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you pick up a vintage toy and you remember, you know, you're taking advantage of your little brother and trading for <laughs> that one that you didn't have and taking it from him. And, um, but it's just, a, and it's so, it's such a vast, uh, there, there's so much to collect and so many companies now are taking all of the vintage stuff that we grew up in and that we loved playing with as children and they're re-releasing all the Ninja Turtles, all the He-Man, all of the Marvel, all of the G.I. Joe, all this stuff is coming back. The only difference is it's 10 times better because they there there's better points of articulation and the sculpts are better and the paint uh, paint applications are better. So they're really the, the toy industry right now is really targeting the people like us, they're targeting the, the older collectors yeah. um, and uh, kind of bringing back those <laughs> feelings. And so Nostalgia, right? it, it's just a, that's where yeah, it's at. exactly. Yeah. And it's, and it's absolutely amazing. Matt, I don't so, want to, I want to leave you off. The, I can't let you off the hook either, Matt. You got to pick a favorite. You have out of all those toys that you play with, you got a favorite. I grew up just a, a He-Man through and through. So <laughs> He-Man and Battle Cat, uh, uh, playing with those toys. Unfortunately, uh, I didn't buy them when they were new, 
I was more of a garage sale He-Man fan, so I'd find them, you know, without their harnesses and without their weapons. But uh, He-Man is where it was at. And and to tag along on what Pete just said is that some of this stuff is for the adults, and that's why we have specifically, you know, 11 and under, you're free. Bring the kids out. Let these kids find their own passions and see all this cool stuff and this this creative outlet, which is toys. And they might find something they like. And uh, that's really how we want to kind of pass the torch to them. So. Absolutely. I think it's uh, kids of all ages, as they say. Matt, Pete, thank you exactly. so much for the time this morning. You can find that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and, of course, the He-Man and everything else at the Toy Haven, October 9th, Grand Haven Community Center from 9 to 4. Cost, as you heard, $5 for adults and kids 11 under are absolutely free. If you want to stay updated or learn more, just follow their Facebook page called Toy Haven. Or you can just email these guys, ideasformars at gmail.com.